Good afternoon and welcome back to another stream with Mimioni. Today we're playing the Final Fantasy 16 crossover event in Final Fantasy 14. There's Final Fantasy 16 in my 14. What is this madness? We have waited for this for so long. Ever since this was first announced, a lot of people have, uh, yeah, uh, ever since Final Fantasy 16 was announced to be led by Naoki Yoshida as a producer and director, um, I think a lot of people were like, we need a crossover. So when it was finally confirmed a while ago, people got hyped. And when it got closer, people got even more hyped. And then when we saw that trailer, oh boy, oh boy, were people hyped, myself included. And the rewards are absolutely fantastic. I did a video overlooking basically all of the bits and pieces from this earlier today. If you want to go see any of the stuff in finer detail, uh, make sure you definitely take part in this. You've got until the 8th of May to actually take part in this and then it will go away. So just bear that in mind if you're a new player, a returning player, an Xbox player or whatever. Uh, just a bit of a reminder, you will need to have a character level 50 or above. And you will need to have completed the uh, MSQ for a Realm Reborn, the main storyline for that. So that's the, I think it's the ultimate weapon. The bit where you face off against a certain fight in Portadecumana, I think it is called. Um, obviously without spoiling anything. So Final Fantasy 16 is a great game. I had the privilege of playing it uh, early and then also when it finally released, I was able to do a full playthrough courtesy of Square Enix and... It is one of the best Final Fantasy games. One of, definitely. Not my personal favorite, but the music is exceptional. The way that it looked, the content itself, the gameplay, it was definitely up my alleyway. It wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, it sort of surpassed that in many ways. So I'm, I'm really sort of in to that storyline. I'm really excited to see the next uh, DLC sort of expansion for that game called the rising tide so we'll no doubt do a playthrough of that dlc when it comes out on youtube as well as twitch so uh, obviously hyped for that we are in the game today though on chaos data center on of course uh, ragnarok my home server we're going to do the uh, quest on my alt today because my main character ra uh, rushed through it this morning so i could get all of the stuff to film uh, for today's video. So I'm going to enjoy the storyline with you here. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. Hello. So, uh, hello, Lanadette. Thank you so much for the two month streak, seven months in total here on Twitch. I appreciate you. Welcome back to the Whiskers. Hey, Morgana. I'm good. Thank you. Just a bit tired. Um, it's been a long day. And now I want to wrap things up with, uh, with this storyline and yeah embrace it honestly so we're going to do it on my uh male cat boy alt we've got no avatar on today because quite honestly i'm not feeling up to it so no vtube avatar stuff plus we can embrace um full screen with all of the you know fantastic stuff i'm going to crank that music as high as we can <laughs> without destroying people's eardrums of course uh, in the process but yeah Let's get started. So if you want to take part in this, like I say, prerequisites, be level 50 or above, you must have completed the base A Realm Reborn uh, main storyline up to, I'm not gonna say the name of a quest, but it's uh, in a place called Porta Decumana. You'll know if you know. And then you come over to uh, Uldar, Steps of Nald, and uh, you'll find an NPC very near to the actual Immortal Flames guild hall. Is the floaty thing an emote? Yeah, this is uh, from the uh, Zodiac and Hydlin statue. Yes, it's a count bound, so we're doing floaties whilst I was waiting to start the stream, making sure everything was good. So yeah, uh, probably terrible voice acting in some way, shape or form. And, uh, for, you know, on my part, because it's not voice acted, too expensive for me, question mark. I, I don't know. I, I don't judge... I, I, why, I, it's not for me to judge uh, if something's too expensive for you or not. Um, I did a series of videos on it though, and you can definitely go and uh, watch those, or you can go on the, the Square Enix store and find information. Right, anyway. 
So like I say, 50 and above, it's called A Land on Fire. You'll find this at X8.8, Y9.8 in Uldar, just opposite from where the, uh, the Immortal Flames are, if you're wondering to know. This alt has done basically no quests in the game, other than the MSQ stuff, so yes, a lot of this is terrifying to look at. I hate seeing plus quests everywhere, so if you're wondering, this is an alt. So let's uh, <clears throat> let's start this up and see what happens. Because this morning I didn't have the time to uh, read through it all. I needed to get footage. So um, we're going to give it its fair due now. A land on fire. Let's have a look at this NPC for a second. Can I see? Pass, <laughs> Pass everyone. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Also, by the way, if you're new to the game, you can click through people by holding X. There you go. Top tip for expansions. I say that every time and it blows some people's minds, so I'm trying to help people out. The neophyte adventurer seeks the warrior of light. Limited time only up until May the 8th. Is it a group quest line? A group quest line? It's a solo uh, seasonal uh, activity. Hey, Cleo, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Whiskers. Sorry, I I'm all over the place. Uh, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. E enjoy your emotes. Thank you for your support. Hey, Pixel Cafe. Hey, small blue panda. Right. F forgive me my boldness, but... You are Inuum Moontail, are you not? My alt's name. Uh, yes. It, it, what happens if you say no? Oh, my apologies. Even if you are the spitting image, I suppose it was naive of me to presume that you are indeed the living legend himself. I shall have to keep searching. <laughs> How many people press no? Probably no one, right? Probably no one. Why would you say no? I had to do it. F forgive me. Yes, it is me. Then my search isn't at an end. Uh, a begoggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with uh, some matter he deigned not to share with me. Uh, pray, remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. Go on then. Chop, chop. <laughs> yeah, the no answer's brilliant. Ah, greetings, champion. Tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I've a request that you, and you alone, can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of purest white, the other blushing scarlet. Their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the White Star, their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. Okay. Uh, that's a lovely tale, but I failed to see what it has to do with me. Good point, really. I do not wish to make any claims with certainty, and yet, whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. And should these potents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the scarlet star. Whomsoever that may be, or they may be, rather. 
I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouncement. A denouement, sorry. Denouement, that's a word I haven't heard before. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. The question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? Hmm. A steak burger? Steak burger, that sounds good. Uh, well, obviously it's the burning war, but... <laughs> A place rich in corrupted crystal deposits. They look quite fiery. Let's go with that. Just off the top of my uh, head, you know. These crystals would have to be immense in size, akin to to those which comprised a burning wall. Aye, that sight well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved, that I solve myself because you're useless. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous burning wall at once. What do you mean I'm useless? Hey, cat. Hey, dead. I love that. The logo. You love how the minstrel just walked up to this random guy and was like, Hey, I need you to find a cowboy that looks like this. To be fair, though. The Warrior of Light is somewhat, you know, world famous. It's not, it's not a terribly difficult job for them. I suppose, right? I don't know. Camp Drybone. You doing alright? Just uh, working your way through this too. Nice. Hello. Alright, let's fly over to the burning wall. I don't know what mounts I've even got on this character. Not many, that's that's for sure. Most of them cash up. Mm. It's a bit rough, isn't it? So we have to go to the Burning Wall, which is a very integral place, if you didn't skip the storyline of this game. Some of you may, may know of it. Look a button. Look a button? <laughs> 27 months. Thank you, Shinsui. Thank you for your support. Welcome back to the Whiskers. How are you doing? I hope you're well. I hope everyone's well today. Are you all enjoying the event? Out of out of 16, what would you give it? If we were to rate it out of 16, I would give it 16. Personally. It lives up to my expectations. And then some. Right, Mr. Minstrel. <clears throat> the Burning Wall. An apt name indeed. Tis said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the land's ethereal current. <laughs> Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here though, nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglasses at the ready! So when I did this this morning, I don't know if you were like me, but it took me a good couple of minutes to realize what I was looking for. You give it a 15 out of 16? Ooh. I suppose perfection would be, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong to give it 16 out of 16. So yeah, this, this morning I was like, what, what, what is there? And it was pitch black, right? I came at the worst possible time. I was like, what am I supposed to be looking at? This crystal? I was clicking around like a fool. And then bottom left, strange man. But when it when I came here, it was foggy and nighttime, and he was invisible. <laughs> I was like, "What am I looking for?" <laughs> oh dear. <gasps> Who is that? Who could that possibly be? Looks like a uh, main protagonist, if ever I saw one. Oh, that's music though. I see a man on the floor. Should we help him? No, let's just nod and run this direction instead. Ah, uh, okay. 
Why was there a pig noise? That was weird. Oh, I think he's dead. Definitely dead. Oh, oh, oh. What would Clive's voice be like? I'm not sure I can do a Ben Starr impression, I'll be honest. Where am I? No, that's bad. Where am I? That'll do. What? What's going on? Nod. Ah, uh, we just saw you and it looks like you had a fall. Are you okay? Do you want a biscuit? You want Clive's weapon as a glam? Yeah, it's weird that it wasn't included, but at the same time, who would you choose to give Clive's weapon to? What job? It's a big question. Or all of the above, and put it on the cash shop like they did with the Gaia weapon. A dream led you to me. I understand how absor- absor- bleh, absor- absor- Why? Why can't I say absorbed? Obs- Absurd. There we go. Words. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel. This stalwart hero is Mione Backwards. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive. I... The last thing I remember was the ruins. Ugh. My... Head... Where... How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you were not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a... What? A, have a fon, fron... Frontistory. A frontistory physician. Look you over. It's full of words I don't know today. Frontrist... Frontrist... Frontistory. Sounds like a weird operation, doesn't it? Oh yeah, do you know, he's been in uh, he's been in A and E with his uh, front history. I shall see our patient recovers proper, uh, receives proper treatment. It would help if I read what was on the screen. Really, would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Nod. Well. Welcome to our world, Clive. Oh, he looks a bit drunk. <laughs> Do we think Clive had the Dawn Trail treatment? He looks pretty well done. Uh... Maybe, but his outfit didn't. Right, we're waiting. Do, do, do. I'm waiting. I spy with my little life. Something beginning with C. It's a Clive. Oh, no, it's not. Our foundling... Uh, yeah, foundling. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was not that a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. Nod. But can we loot his corpse? I'm, I'm liking to think that's what my character would say. Oh, spoiling us with music. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The Physica also noted no signs of injury or illness. 
Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important, I am sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. Nod. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Uldar strike you as familiar? Hmm. No, maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm, not all done then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldar and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelveswood is in an order? Gridania, you say? Huh. The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. Would you take me there? Yes, yes I would. Hey Koopo, how you doing? Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. Bye. And off he goes. All right, Clive, it's just me and you, buddy. This entire situation has knocked me off balance, I'm afraid. <laughs> me only backwards, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Alright. Ready as I'm ever gonna be, Clive. Old pal, old buddy, old skip, matey. Let's go. Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. Good. Are we ready? Then let's head out. The Gridania the minstrel mentioned. Is it far? Will we need mounts? Nah, we'll take an airship. But by airship, you have those. Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Yes, we're getting on an airship, Clive. I still think that they should have an airship fully functional in the DLC is a bit of a surprise. That'd be cool. Of 16, that is. Me only backwards, if I may ask a foolish question. Do these airships of yours actually fly? Yeah, otherwise they'd be submarines. <laughs> a foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. Uh, are there no airships to travel around where you're from? How, how do you get from city-states? <laughs> so it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. <sighs> I can make no 
sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Yeah, I agree. Let's get on the airship, Clive. You're in for a treat. Airship noises. <laughs> Hello, Clive. To feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. So, this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it's best if I follow your lead. Clive is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Clive behind by entering a different area or by speaking with him. No, no Clive is left behind. If you want him to return to you again, return and speak with him at the original location, i.e. here. So obviously we start in the inn at the Carleen uh, Canopy. Come on in, Clive. Let's go. Let's go, walkies. What do you have to say, actually, before we... Uh... This city certainly has a different feel to Uldar. Not only the architecture, but the people as well. True. Oh, there's an Amazoo. Cute. No Clive left behind, that's right. This tavern. <laughs> it reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No. It's no use. I can feel the memory, but... It's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else? Sure. Grasping at smoke. It's not something you want to do, is it? Do, do, do. Is there any, like, extra ones that I missed this morning? No, I don't think so. It's a shame there's no, like, secret circles that you can talk to him in. Also, people were talking about the player, uh, the character model. Is this a future here? Higher? You know what? You're probably right. I think the eyes, especially. I don't know. I think that this is pre flicking the switch. So, like, this is an upgrade, obviously, like polygon count. But I still think when Dawn Trail comes out, there's like a magical switch that gets turned on with the with the patch, where all of it suddenly pops more. So I think that yes, but also no, maybe. I don't know. But I presume that, you know, we're probably not going to see any changes to Clive, are we? Because the event will end before then. But yeah, it's definitely... Uh, I love the, the mark there. Play the game, by the way, to uh, learn more about everything. I don't want to spoil anything for 16. It's a really great game. A sword, especially. Oh my goodness. Like the wood on the on the hilt there? Oh my god. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, come on, Clive. We've got places to go and people to talk to. Who's he? That's Clive Rosfield. Do, 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 do. A chocobo. <laughs> now that's something I recognize. Yet it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once. I'm sure of it. Why am I saying chocobo when in 16 it's chocobo? I had my own chocobo once. I'm sure of it. But as for the when or the where. Oh, he misses Ambrosia. Can't blame him. The textures on Clive look blurry, says Bloodleaf. Uh, really? 
You think they're blurry? Maybe it's the stream quality. Maybe it's the stream quality, to be fair. I am limited by Twitch's bandwidth. An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal. Surely. No. Not nearly large enough. Ugh. When I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Yeah, Clive, don't smash our right. We, we need them. <laughs> oh no. Leave it alone, right? We need those. Teleportation. God, if you remove teleportation from this game, some people would be very unhappy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, what shaders are you using to make him look so good? I'm not using shaders. This is default Final Fantasy fourteen. See, look. Old poopy model. New model. <laughs> There's no shaders. Not on this PC, anyway. Just vanilla. Oh, it's nice to hear different music it is. This is truly a beautiful place. Have you remembered anything else, Clive? Anything of your origins? Your friends? Brief flashes of this and that, but... Nothing to suggest I've been here before. I just can't shake the strangest feeling. Huh? As if it's too peaceful. And that doesn't sit right. Random guard. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with the Ixal. No sightings of Garuda. That's, that's his voice. <laughs> For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. <laughs> Dude, no. Running out of voice ideas. Did he just say Garuda? Uh-oh. You there. This Garuda you speak of. Ugh. Mm. Sir, are you alright? Anyone, do you know this gentleman? Yeah, his name's Clive and he fell down a rock and thinks he's from another world or something, I don't know. Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it seems Karuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. Perfect voice. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her. I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course! Gridania owes a debt of gratitude to any who've stood against that destructive fiend. Ooh, let me think. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder seeds here is well versed not only in the primal law, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She's surely your best hope for recovery. I'll send word ahead to the still glared fame. Stand ready to escort our guest to an audience. Understood, Commando. <laughs> Pray find me at Norfolk's altar in Old Gridania, and I'll see that you're granted entry to the lotus stand. Okay. <laughs> it's the hats. It's the hats that make me put voices like that on them. Genuinely. You wear a hat like that. 
That's the sort of voice you're gonna get. Bit of shade on the uh, <clears throat> twin out of there slightly, but. <laughs> so 15 event was fighting Gruder, and now 16 event is fighting Gruder? No. No, 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 no. No, it is not. <laughs> Close, though. The Lord will stand lies just to dead. If you'd follow me, please. I hope that guy doesn't have any more screen time. Oh, God, the seed's here. How am I going to do her voice? So her 1.0 voice was, like, really scraggly. But, like, sort of... Like, really posh, like the Queen. Greetings, honoured guests. Not 1.0, but early, early uh, A Realm Reborn. If you watch any of the cutscenes. The seat's here! <laughs> Commander Hulio has appraised me of your friend's condition. This... Is he? Aye. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Carney Senna, Elder Seatseer of Gradania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I'm Clive. Though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Concern yourself not with proprieties. Is your memory loss we are here to address? I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. In the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps I could hear more of Garuda. Oh, if I could hear more of Garuda. I can't read, apparently. It's my fault. Oh, a wish easily granted. I'm now going to close my eyes. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixal, a people who once dwelt here in the Twelves Wood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, in is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. Oh. One should ask, should, should add that Inuim has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. Yeah, actually quite a few times. Wondrous Tales is a bitch. Uh, a winged woman of volatile temperament, with power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? <laughs> no. The will behind that monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one and the same. Hey, HGP. I mean, Wandering Minstrel. Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, Minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. <laughs> Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local ro rumor monger, but mom's around? Improbable, to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. From another star? 
Are they high? That's what I imagine they're saying in the background. My brand. It's... Uh, it's the mark of the bearer. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories try to surface. But when I strain to recall, that piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda. Bearer. Ifrit. Oh, another primal's name. Could seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconsciousness denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. Uh. The barrier is of my own making. <laughs> How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Yeah, we'll help you. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. You almost thought that said beaver instead of bearer. Garuda. Beaver. Ifrit. It hasn't got the same ring to it, I'll be honest, Kira. <laughs> I like the idea. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, you'd think me from another world. And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree. And I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Mione Backwards. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no mere accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me. At Apkalu Falls. Words. Pain to recall. The music's so good, man. If there's one thing you take away from this without knowing anything about Final Fantasy 16, just know that Mazuyoshi Soken is a god amongst mortals, and his music, regardless of what game he puts his will to, is just bettered by it. And I really hope that there are more games that Square Enix brings out that he gets to do the music for. Because, my goodness. I really hope the next Final Fantasy has him in charge of the, the sound direction. I can't get enough of the different styles and skills that he puts through his music. It's just, it's a pleasure, it really is. Ooh, we get a present. What do we get? The path infernal. The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet. We're to meet him at at Kalu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? 
It's near Jonathus, you know, the guy who's the achievement vendor where they introduced achievement certificates and then basically gave us no rewards for them and forgot about them and the veteran reward system items are placed on there and forgot about. It's over there. Good. Not far then. Let's get on with it. I agree. Let's go. I really hope the achievement certificate system gets like some form of glow up. It's a it's a bit of a shame that we have a currency that I've got a ton of and a lot of people do and it's not really anything to buy with it. It's very rare they add new rewards to it and it's um it's long overdue, I think. In my opinion, I don't know. How many orchestrion scrolls are there? There are ten. Don't forget it's a triple triad card as well. Oh, I nearly did a side quest then. Hello, Clive. How long is the event going to last until the 8th of May 2024? So, you haven't got long. Plenty of time, right? Plenty of time. This place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Soir gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit! All oh, this music. Wow. They really are spoiling us, aren't they? <laughs> Ugh. I know something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? Hmm. Yeah, it's Gold Saucer, yeah. Clive recalled several words in the Elder Seedseer's presence. Words which brought him pain. While the significance of Bearer eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. Yes, we are. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of its name, does likely your, uh, sorry, does likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition? Thus, have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louisois paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance. And within the vision which takes form, will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart. Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Hold on. Sip of coffee. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Where... where has he sent us? Uh, how do you do an ethereal voice? Probably an echo, right? Nah, we need, um... You stand in the bowl of embers. The site where the Amaljar summoned their patron deity. And the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. Tis but convincing illusion. The body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. That's so cool. An accurate facsimile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No. Not quite the same. That's more like it. Hmm. It's time to uncover the truth, Clive. To me. All right. Time to find out who I am. That's the thing that killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, anyone. During this battle, you will gain access to special duty actions as follows. So, use rising flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. So you can maintain high damage by using it. It also gap closes, that's what it's telling you. With a proper timing, you can use dodge to avoid taking any damage. Even if you're within the area of the enemy's attack, Certain enemy actions will be preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progresses to the dodge icon, you can quickly press the dodge action. This also, by the way, when I was testing this morning, uh, also only seems to apply when you stand in the AoE. If you go out of it, it doesn't do it. So it's like, it's really helpful, actually. Some things are untelegraphed with this, though, I noticed. Which is cool. After executing a successful dodge, the dodge action will change to Precision Strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. There we go. Enjoy. 
I know I will.
I blamed another to spare myself the guilt. I feared by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am. In a battle against my own mind would seem... I didn't read the rest of it. Intriguing. All right, since we can actually go at our own pace. Thank you so much, Impossibles, for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. How are you doing today on Twitch? I hope you had a good stream. Happy Tall Gold Tuesday to you too, Eldridge Horror of Bread. <laughs> it's amazing. That's a great name. But I hope you're all well. I hope you're all enjoying Tall Gold Tuesday and enjoying the Final Fantasy 16 event. It is amazing. So we're doing it on our alt um, so that we can showcase this fantastic storyline. I hope you're having a good day. Right. <clears throat> The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. <laughs> this is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Ah, that would explain the aberration in the lingering ether. Torgal here is to lead you back to your own world. Huh? Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. That music, though. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flames, he was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered 
his bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm. Your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if, and if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that, to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your fairy comrade will lead us exactly where we would need to go. Go go! <laughs> Nod. Uh, Yoshida spoiling his own game. Uh, the demo spoils that section. It's it's supposed to be... It, look, Final Fantasy 16 has a lot of twists and turns, but a way beyond that. When originally Yoshi P said that that was not a spoiler. <laughs> he was right. He was very right. There's a. It's a very good game. Definitely go and enjoy it if you uh, if you have the capability, or if you're on PC only. Hopefully soon we get some news of the of the the version that will come over. Right. I feel like I feel like this is mean. I feel like that's a really mean move to go and see Clive with, but... <laughs> oh... Too soon! Too soon! <laughs> the worst mount you could have summoned... ...to go see Clive Rosfield. You just float near him and he's like, Joshua! Nope, still, still just me, buddy. Still, still just me. I think he'd probably punch me in the face. Yeah, we'll likely get the PC version when the DLC wraps up for Shawzies. It makes sense, doesn't it? And then they can sell it as one complete package. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. I'm looking forward to Rising Tide. It's going to be good, hopefully. It's supposed to be huge, so... Uh, 
Don't take this the wrong way, Clive. Joshua! Yeah, yeah. Hi. This bit is... This is... Yeah, this is... Uh, this is not... This is not very nice, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does Clive say? Such an incredible sight. I was in no state to appreciate these crystals the first time. Togol says... Oh. Togol's ears are pricked up, his senses focused on his surrounds. Weird how long the PC version set, uh, takes, says Dark Mouse Live. I would say that it's better this way because you don't want a rushed port. You want a, a working game. So I, I value the lateness of, of, you know, people's expectations of it, personally. We've come this far. Now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Ready, Torgal? All right, boy. Take me home. Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Minstrel will accompany you. Torgal will then begin leading you onwards. Follow Torgal to his destination and try not to fall behind. If you leave Clive or the Minstrel for any reason or lose sight of Torgal, you may try again by returning to the starting point. All right, it's on. And he's off. Come back, Torgal. The music's so good, it just it rings in your heart. So your, the original Final Fantasy 16 press event in London, when I went to that, uh, like the media event, it was it was amazing, by the way. Um, before the game came out on PlayStation, we had like quite a few hours with the game and a certain piece of music that you will hear when we get on the back of Torgal is the thing that I remember most singing on the way back <laughs> just for hours and hours and hours. Definitely my favorite track. Torgal says, Minstrel says, I sense the end to this extraordinary tale is at hand. I don't want it to end. It's too good. Is this it, boy? The tale ends where it began. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this of all places would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, Eorzeo was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. Twas as if a star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of direst need. Go and do the Coils of Bahamut storyline, by the way, if you're new to the game. Because you're missing out on a really important bit of story. Go do the Coil story, okay? Thank me later. The Phoenix. Yes. The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridders having erupted from the earth overnight. 
Some believe these monoliths have solidified flame to be proof of the Phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the Phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you, both, for all you've done. May your journeys be fair. Safe travels, Clive. And yours as well. You don't seem like the type to stand still. Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek, and Thalas Vea awaits. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> and now you have to play Final Fantasy 16 to find out what happens. Ah. And then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. But nay, twould be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. That honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Inuem. If you buy it from the PlayStation Store, that is. As if by magic he is gone. Our little adventure is over, set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. Probably at heaven's turn. Fare we well. <laughs> I love the little bow there. So if you didn't know, all you had to do was the quest to get yourselves the full four-piece attire. The mount and the minion. You also get a title. And you also get to buy special goods in the uh, gold saucer for MGP. Found the flame is the achievement. And the title you get is of the twinned star, which I think is a fantastic title. I think that's a really lovely little memento. So yeah, definitely don't miss out on this event. It is, as you've seen, probably, in this playthrough, definitely worth your time. Don't know. What do people think? I would say this is probably the, one of the best crossover events they've, they've ever done. I would say the only thing above it is the Monster Hunter crossover for me, and that's only because there was a piece of content added that I could farm. If 
You know what I mean? Maybe I'm being too greedy, but I like it when there's something for me to, to farm out and the, the glamour and the amount was cool to farm for. But at the same time, I think they just wanted to do the other game justice and have a nice, you know, nice, easy, accessible fair. But I wouldn't be against them doing another version of the same crossover. Maybe give Jill's attire, maybe some other bits and pieces. A lot of people definitely would love to have the... Uh, the weapon. Clive's weapon, right? Things like that. This was fun. Nice. You enjoyed it? It's up there in terms of events. It's definitely, like, top five. If not second place, honestly. So, obviously, we got the mount. We've got the minion. I showed this in the video, but most importantly for a lot of people, the glamour. Which is, apparently, on this character, I've defaulted it to my armory chest? Okay. That's interesting. It doesn't come with a helm as well, so Viera and Rothgar, you're uh, you're able to wear it no problem. It's called the uh, Metean set. It looks pretty cool, even with my goggles, actually. <laughs> my character looks great. Nice. I know someone said about clipping earlier. If clipping was ever a concern to me, I wouldn't play the game, honestly, because the amount of clipping... But it, it's not it's not a bother to me. Some people might hate clipping, but I think this is really nice looking. Quite honestly. The texture quality isn't quite there, obviously. They've got a did a whole update thingy. There are some improvements though, especially with the cape and things. It really does feel like a lot of the event items and rewards that have been added to the game recently have been like one light switch toggle away from being there they seem higher resolution at the very least um but not quite there the monster hunter event is a permanent fixture though yeah that's my point it'd be nice if we had more things like that that's that was what i meant tiberius so that's why this couldn't take top spot it's the only reason is because i like persistent events because i think that you know, the timed events are cool and all, but I think a lot of people would probably prefer if there was something to to have in the game that they could update regularly. In my opinion. And a lot of... Oh, look, I've got loads of uh, the heart chairs. <laughs> I must have found the, uh, the thingy. Toggle! And the best thing about him... Oh yeah. Find the flame. Yeah, that's right, Tyverse.
and you can pet him with the action button. I don't know. A mount, a minion, a full glamour set, four piece, a triple triad card, and ten pieces of music. It's it's pretty bloody hard to disagree with that more often than not. Like when I've done event videos before, people are like, is that all? And it'll be like a minion. And then the next event goes by, is that all? And it'll be a mount. And then the next one goes around, is that all? And it'll be a glamour set. Because they rotate these things through the season. But the idea is that there's also these other events that fill in the gaps as well. Like this one, the Dragon Quest one, which is apparently is, is coming back. The Okai Watch event, which is likely to come back. You know. So there's plenty to be had. And I think this was well worth the wait, personally. For Shawzies. And of course you've got a minion as well. You've got until, like I say, uh, May the 8th to get all of this stuff. If you want to grab a hold of it. He's looking for biscuits. Is that... All right, let's go gold saucer. So if you've been following a uh, fashion report Friday, which is the weekly video series that I put out or any of the other community posts about fashion report, then over the last, I don't know how long we've been doing it over 300 episodes now. Um, if you're a returning player or someone who has played the game consistently, you'll probably have enough MGP for everything. Which is one of the reasons why they put the mount, the minion, and the uh, glamour be behind the quest. So if you want to get yourself the music, you can come over to the prize claim 4 tab. Click show only recently added items and you'll find all of the orchestrian rolls. So there's stuff like Tonitrua, Ex Machina, Idols of the Empire, Forevermore, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Before the Storm, which is Ken Nervant theme. State of the Realm, who, I'm, uh, who I really am. Away, which is... Um, Away is a really good song. <laughs> a really good song. It's to do with Phoenix. To Sail Forbidden Seas. Find a Flame, which is the best piece of music in the game, for sure. Uh, 16, that is. And Land of Icons, which is also a banger. And if you want a triple triad card... You must have completed that quest that we just did. And if you come over to the vendor and you click that button, you'll find for 200,000 MGP the Clive Rosfield card. Eh, we might as well buy it, right? Easy peasy. MGP is easy to get. I don't think this character even has any triple triad cards in it. To be honest with you. <laughs> so this all has seven cards, right? <laughs> It has a dodo, a sabatender, a bomb, mandragora, a quill. A seeker of solitude. And Clive Rosefield. <laughs> the starter deck plus Clive. That's right, that's actually... Hold on. Let's see if we can start a deck plus Clive some of these... Uh, Things. It's a shame. Oh, there, there is actually a tournament, isn't there? Oh, I don't think we've actually done. Oh, no, we can do the trial match. <laughs> recommended deck. You know what it's going to put in the recommended? There's no way. <laughs> Just this image. This is hilarious. Uh, oh, Ultima Weapon versus Dodo. Oh, no. Oh no, Dodo, you're on the on the on the ropes there, buddy. <laughs> Clive, you must find the flame. You must save our cards from destruction. <laughs> no, not the Mandragora. No. I'm not even gonna be able to play Clive. I feel ripped off. 
chaos. And those are starter cards. They are, yes. This ult has not got any cards. Yay, I gotta get it. Uh. Come on, let me play Clive. What is this? Well, that was a really bad idea, but... I swear the game's like, no, you no play Clive. Clive is special. Genuinely, it screwed me up. <laughs> I can't play Clive. Hey! Oi! See, look, Clive. Clive was all we needed to win. Easy mode, right? That's all you need is a Clive Rosfield. That's it. Proof is in the pudding. And the tasting of said pudding. <laughs> oh dear. Let's go listen to some of the music from this. But yeah, I, I think honestly, male characters and female characters look great. The only difference is obviously the boobs. There's a slightly bigger bit for a female character. I think it's pretty badass. My favorite thing is probably the legs, though, because they turn any shoes into thigh high boots. Do like that. Let's go on our main character and we'll listen to some music. We have 20 more levels to go to level 50, then the tour girl is mine. Messiah, I hope you don't rush it and I hope you enjoy it. Definitely. Take it at your own pace. I know May is just around the corner, but nice, you know, nice and steady. I have to do that on my other characters. But the thing is, I might get rid of uh, a lot of alts, though, that are on other servers now. I might not even bother with the event because the cross uh, data center travel system is probably going to make this way better for people like me. I just want a male and a female variant of the thing. This is the glam I put together, by the way. Just using the chess piece. For some reason, I went with Victorian hussy. <laughs> That's the theme. I don't know what else to call this. I don't know. I'm not really fond of this glam. I just put something together just to see what could go with it. And this ended up being the, the end result. I look like that I'm the owner of um, like a coal factory or something or an iron works. And I only show up once a week to uh, to tell people how to do their jobs. Yes, yes. Doggo. Good boy. Good boy. <clears throat> so naturally I have uh, the orchestra in roll. So let's go listen to them. See if they're of the same quality as I remember. Victorian hussy, burn the witch, that's right. It's really rainy in the game. It's not really a surprise, is it, though? Every time I play this game... Oh, unless you come home and then it's a nice sunny day. Oh, yeah, I need to put some of this stuff away. This is the problem with me. I put stuff out for videos, like, months ago and I forget about it. Whoops. Whoops. What did you think about it? What, my glam? Uh, that it's rushed and I can do better. What do you mean the event? Oh, as I said, it's it's definitely uh, top tier for me. It's not first place because it doesn't have... It's not my f the best event ever uh, for me because it doesn't have any persistence like the Monster Hunter event. There's nothing there for me to farm for, which is a gameplay thing. But storyline-wise, awesome. Combat-wise, amazing. Visuals-wise brilliant audio wise cracking as usual so yeah uh yeah the orchestrion's over here isn't it let's uh what should we get rid of oh, it's gonna be so difficult to choose what music to get rid of this is my playlist that i like to use so i've got athena Actually, it might be Athena I get rid of. I don't know. I like this song. And I can't get rid of Amanda Aiken. The final battle? 
Yeah, let's get rid of the final battle. Let's do that. Seems sacrilege, but still. Okay, so we've got um, Tonitrua X Machina. That sounds like this. You hear this quite a lot in Final Fantasy 16 when Torgol's around at the start of the game in the player hub area with Sid. Every time I hear this, I hear the guy, uh, the Sid's voice actor. Did you know that the guy who voiced Sid in Final Fantasy 16 is the same guy who does the salvage... What's it called? Salvage... something? Antique salvage or something? With Drew Pritchard in it? He's like, Today marks another day where we look at another auction. I can't do his voice. What's his name? Ralph, isn't it? I forget his name now. The voice, uh, the voice actor. You know who I mean. You didn't like the lack of fighting, but otherwise amazing. Lack of fighting? What about the big red thing? Ralph... Innocent? Einson? I don't know how to pronounce his name. You haven't played 16 yet? That's fine. We're not going to spoil it for you. Boom, boom. Mm. Every single one of these tracks is giving me a flashback to a moment. It's one of those games that you know it's a Final Fantasy game, at least sonically, because you can remember where you were at a certain point and each memory is indented in the, in, into the signature of that wave pattern. Like, I know exactly where this is. I'm not going to spoil anything. But I know exactly where this is the first time I heard it in 16. It's fantastic, isn't it? And a lot of video game music is just on-loop stuff, you know. But, you know, Masayoshi Soken. bit of a legend in my opinion there was one fight yeah did there need to be more what what was your expectations PC North because clearly you're you you were wanting more combat so what would you have instead of just ifri what would you have liked to have seen there's no wrong answers, I'm curious. It would have been cool if it was slightly longer, I guess. More stuff to do in the world with Clive. It is bittersweet when you have something that good and it's taken away from you, I feel. If only 16 was on the PC right now. Yeah. I agree. And we've got Forevermore, the Grand Duchy of Rosario. You wanted it to be like the Final Fantasy 15 event with fates involved. Yeah, but those were over like within five seconds. The fates were incredibly quick. I mean, my feedback would be I would have preferred if there was a permanent aspect to it. With a duty added to the duty finder, like with the Monster Hunter, so that we, there was something for me to farm, maybe from Ifrit or something. That'd be cool. I mean, it's never say never. There's there's always a good idea um, that, that there is always room for, uh, for this to happen again or more things. Think about it. Final Fantasy XI has had multiple crossovers with this game. And Final Fantasy XI isn't produced and directed by the same man that's created. <laughs> that's the producer and director of Final Fantasy XVI, you know what I mean? So if they can do multiple crossover events with Final Fantasy XI, I would say give some really positive feedback and desire some more, and politely request that Yoshi P and the team do what they've just done, but again, 
You never know. You never know. Positive feedback goes a long way. It really does. A Final Fantasy 16 themed Phoenix Mount? I mean, we recently got a Phoenix, didn't we? From the anniversary. But, yeah, I guess. That could be cool. Before the storm, Ker Norvin. Oh man, this just reminds me of fighting those dudes around that castle. And thinking that I'd missed a treasure chest repeatedly. Going around in circles. <laughs> Trying every single one of the doors in the building. <laughs> uh... Stay of the realm? Yeah, so this is what happens. This is kind of like your overworld theme, isn't it? Like this pops up when you open the map and things like that. It's got a prelude behind it. It's a really nice version. Yeah, I think they did a really, really decent delivery of music during those quests as well. It didn't feel like they tried to cram too many in. But I think they were used at the perfect situations and feel. Like I say, it was quite a bittersweet thing. I, I, I mean, I didn't want it to end. That's why I'm not even phased about doing this on alts. I want to see more of Clive at any cost. It would have been cool if there was more Torgal moments rather than just chasing after him. I think that's a fair bit of criticism. I would like to see... Maybe... Sniffing down a bad guy or something. Think of it this way, right? If they wanted to do a follow-up to this as another crossover, they could easily do any of the other bosses that Clive confronts, but our world's version of them that gets turned into their version. They could have Garuda. You could literally have... Uh, well, you know what would be sick? But I don't know how they would do it. A Bahamut fight? Oh boy. Or Titan. Stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Away. A lot of people are happy that they've got away. Uh, question, says Messiah. When you get a Clive outfit, is it character bound? It is character bound, yes. And uh, so is the mount, so is the minion. So you, if you wanted to have multiple characters for whatever reason that might be, you would have to do the event again, yes. But this game allows you to play all of the classes and jobs on one character. If you, I don't know if you knew that or not. But usually the only reason for alts is either content creation like myself or if you wanted to play on other servers with other friends at the same time as, you know, not leaving permanently your, your, your server. Or um, if you wanted to RP on a character, something like that. But the thing with alts is that I think a lot of people are going to sort of trail away from it because they're currently trialing a feature... I don't know if you know about it. Um, obviously speaking to Messiah here and anyone else that's new to the game who might not be clued up. They're testing a feature to allow you to travel between regions. So currently there's cross data center in for your local data centers. So for example, I'm English and I live in the UK, right? And uh, that means that I have access to the European servers, right? So I could move between any of those European servers, but I'm currently unable to move my character temporarily and visit the US servers, right? So what they're trialing at the moment is the idea that that will be unlocked. So in the future in Dawn Trail, if the testing going on currently that's live goes away, uh, goes ahead correctly and people provide enough feedback and it works out well, 
then the future means that we'll have an open server structure. Which means the need for alts, unless you really want to RP on them, or just to have them, I guess, will be meaningless. You will be able to do everything you want, and visit everywhere, and play with anybody in the game. With some caveats, of course, with lag, you know, stuff like that. Whenever you want, with just the one character. So I, personally, if you were new to the game, I would, I would say focus on one character. Put all of your eggs into the one basket. And then if you really, really get to the point where you want to, to try um, a different race out or something like that, maybe give it a go. So on the entry you can uh, entry subscription to the game, you can have, what, one character per, per server. On the standard subscription, you can have up to eight. But yeah. Yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask myself and various chats, be it Twitch or YouTube, we'll definitely be able to help you out there. And we also have a Discord server as well. You can find a link in the description of the YouTube video, since you're watching on YouTube. And feel free to come along, say hello. There's plenty of people on there, actually, uh, recently joined that are Xbox players, and uh, obviously they're new to the game, as well as some returning players, so there's lots of people to mix up with, and... Yeah, come and pick our brains, for sure. But feel free to ask whenever I'm live, or in the comments, or whenever you want to. You just push yourself over 400k? Nice, Tiveris, nice. To sail forbidden seas. Oh, such a good piece of music. What do you mean, Tiveris? Of what, 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 in, in reference to what, sorry. I don't know, I can't remember. Maybe. And then my favorite pick of the tracks, obviously. We're gonna have that one as the, uh, whoops. That's gonna be our, it's definitely gonna be on our uh, free company playlist.
You got a hatching tide mount thanks to your vid? Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you got it. It's uh, recently been fixed as well, so it doesn't glitch out anymore when you use the button. There was a weird glitch where your character would go inside of its mesh when you use the animation. Especially noticeable in G-Pose, but they fixed it today, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. too good. It's just too good. <laughs> it really is too good. I could sit there and just listen to that for hours, and that's exactly what I plan to do. <laughs> I really do. Uh, it's dangerous giving me access to good music. It really is. I mean, one of the comparisons as well um, that people have had is with the, with the core gear, right? We don't have many dogs in the game, but all of the dogs we do have are cute. I know it's a Mama Shiba, a Shiba Inu, but I'm going to call it a Corgi because I'm, I'm wrong and I want to be wrong. <laughs> uh dear. But yeah, my, my favorite mount in the game is still Raffalos. It just embodies everything that I love about crossovers. It's mad. I just feel like I'm a predator looking for a sheep. Roar. And you're the sheep. Wait, POV, you're the sheep. <laughs> The grind for it? What well, didn't take too long? It's easier now that it's unsinkable. But yeah. I'm I'm really quite happy that we got our doggo. And I don't remember what page he was on. Um, um, um. I could just use the search function like a normal person, couldn't I, really? Yeah. Yeah, that works. All right, anyway. I think that's probably going to be me for today. I didn't have any other plans. I hope you enjoyed my terrible voice acting or attempts at terrible voice acting of the various characters. Again, you know, until the voice is fully voice acted in every single situation, I will uh, I will not refrain from doing my worst. But yeah, I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday and I hope you get your event rewards. And I hope you can uh, find any of my videos on YouTube. Just simply type in Mioni MGP and there's like a million videos that I've done for various things. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, more videos tomorrow, obviously, for Final Fantasy XIV on the YouTube channel. And of course, we'll be streaming tomorrow. 
on both YouTube and Twitch uh, in the evening. I think at 6 p.m. GMT, I think it was. I might need to double check. Might be a little bit later, I'm not sure. But it should be around there. Uh, we do our community raid night. So what we will be doing this week, I think, is some more mount farms for Gweebers, I think. The, the dragon mounts. I think that's what we're going to be doing. I think also we're going to break it up a little bit by doing some glamour runs of some other bits and pieces as well. We're just going to try and do whatever people have asked for. This is a community-based thing, so if you want to be included in that, you're more than welcome to join our Discord server. If somebody wants to link our Discord in a Twitch chat, but YouTubers, you can look in the description. It's always posted there. Join our Discord. Give yourself the role, which is currently set to Cataday Raids, and you will be able to... Uh, join in every Wednesday for now at least until we start raiding again um, and then we'll move it to a different day but every Wednesday we do, we've done recently we did the, the full Eureka from the start project again where we took people newcomers and returning players alike it took us a month to go back through Eureka for people and many of those people ended up getting the Osma mount more recently we've been doing mount farms from Trials and we've been doing glamour runs for Eden and Eden mounts as well. So if there's anything you want to grab, post it in there and we'll try and set a date for it and see who else needs things. But from me, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening or time zone. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.